All right, I picked up on this microwave, and I think that they'd said, or who knows, hearsay, there say, so that just the turntable wasn't working, but it was a good microwave. Um, well, my whole point is I got one up north that got fried, and it was a upgraded one, uh, mana, to say that, anyway, and it had, uh, it had a, a, a surge of 220 from my mistake from cutting a tree and sending 220 to the house. And so I wrecked my transformer and my microwave. And I'm hoping to uh, replace uh, that transformer with this one or fix the turntable in this one, which would be better, I guess. One or the other, I'm going to repair one. I had to clear out a substantial area to repair this thing but we'll give it a shot Okay, well, I got this microwave tore apart. Uh, I tore the whole back off and everything, and you have to have a couple uh, some, uh, security bits set because there's a couple screws on there that require the security bit, which is star bit with a hole in the center. Anyways, so I got that all apart. This is uh, Andorra, uh, GE. Um, and... They like said somebody said that the motor might have not worked at the turntable and they they're right because it does not turn. So I had popped this motor off after you get the bottom off the microwave. It's one screw is all that holds it on there. And it has a little shaft on it and it's a I don't know, it's probably backwards. 21 volt AC. And I hooked a 24 volt transformer to it. Nothing happened. I didn't think three three volts would make a big difference if, if they did that so and that didn't work so i looked these up they can go from 76 dollars to i found one on ebay for 14 so i'm gonna go ahead and get the 14 dollar one but to make sure that that is it like i said i put this in the vice tried turning it it's really hard to turn and it makes that uh, squealing sound like a bearings bat in it when you do turn it. But we're going to go ahead and start this microwave. And see what the voltage is. I got the two leads hooked up to the harness that plugs into the motor. So if we start this microwave. And... Start, uh, see power level one, start, insert food, and if you can see, I don't know, but we'll push start, there it is, 22 volts, Starts off right off the bat, putting out 22 volts. I don't want to run it too long without nothing in it, and plus it's on the side. So that's why I went ahead and ordered the ordered the new motor. That should fix it. Well, hey everyone, I thought I'd do a follow up on this microwave. Uh, I did get the part. It come from Auburn Surplus. They're out of Illinois. Carroll Stream, Illinois, and it came pretty fast, and it was only, I think, $15, $16 total. Well, anyways, here's the new part. So we're going to go ahead and put that on, and hopefully, hopefully it's going to work. Let's hope. Well, I had taken the whole outer shroud off of this, which wasn't necessary to just do the motor, but I was kind of investigating 
the, all the controls anyways but so all you need to do is just undo this harness right here and that's for the overhead light for the stove uh, anyways and so this oh, i don't know there's not too many screws half a dozen or a little more but anyways and it's this, this thing just got this one little harness here that plugs into it and i've already tested it so we know it puts out the right amount of voltage to run this thing so we'll take this one off so this just kind of turns in and locks into this little clip right here with the flange going around it so and then you just got to line up the line up the flat spot Put it back in that disc this was a samsung one um this is a g microwave but they were saying this was a samsung part and of course guess where it's made you probably can all guess that china so anyways we're gonna plug that in instead of testing it I was going to try testing it with a 24 volt transformer, but since I've already got this all hooked up, we'll go ahead and just put it back together the way it's supposed to be. I assume the light goes towards the front. Came with a couple security bits, which is uh, the hexagon with the little pin in the middle. So you got to have the safety safety thing. I don't think I don't think I want to use those again, just because they're a pain in the rear. So I actually only short one. So I found an extra screw for this last spot down here. If I can get you move back away here so you get it set up. Well, I didn't show it, but after I got that bottom all installed, you got to try to remember to plug in that underneath light, that harness that I forgot completely about. But we'll put the turntable dolly in, and here's the glass table. Now for the big test to see if it'll turn. One, one, two, twelve seconds. Now we'll push start and see if the turntable is going to turn. And there she goes, turntable's turning. Yes, sir. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to run it too long. There's nothing in there. I guess now I can clean the inside a little bit better. The outside was kind of greasy. I don't know if I recommend it, but brake cleaner worked great to clean up that grease off the outside. So I'll probably use bleach for the inside, bleach water or spray bleach. Clean it out real good. And then I'll go swap it out for my old one. So there you have it. It part fixed it. So that makes me happy. So if this was helpful to you to y'all, like and subscribe it helps my channel a lot uh if you subscribe and hit that notification button and 
I'll get with you, get back to you in the, the next thing that I'm working on. All right, see y'all later. Have a good one.